putter, the put in rather, off uh, Lauder's Road in Sauk City. You can see loner life vests there, courtesy of the DNR. I'm sure if this is a weekend, there would be people all over the place, but it's Wednesday. And other than one fisherman upstream, we've got the place to ourselves. Here we are on the river, hazing up a little bit because of the wildfires, I think. A few light clouds, but uh, the boat ready to go. Mike is uh, parking the car, so a little look at the equipment. The cooler, because it's Wisconsin River and you got a canoe. Filled with some of the coldest, tastiest brews available. A couple wet bags, or dry bags rather, to hold their basic gear. Pickle buckets for the food and equipment, other equipment. You know, we're bringing our own water on this trip. Uh, you can fill through the Wisconsin, it's a little cruddy, but since we're in the canoe, you know, why put the filter through that trauma? And uh, we've got more than enough uh, storage. I will say the water is looking pretty good. This time of year, this is the first September trip. September 23rd. Just starting to get a little color in the trees. Some of the maples are turning earlier. Wisconsin River never a destination place for fall color. It's the uh, vegetation on the river does not turn that spectacular color like it does in parts of northern Wisconsin, but uh, still going to be an incredible trip. First people on the lake, down by the Maze of Maney boat dock, some of the little power boat taken out, probably out fishing. Very bluff in the evening light. The river has Calm down quite a bit. And a beautiful September evening. Hey, morning on the Wisconsin River. Day two. A little cloudy. A calm day. Not much of a sunrise. Forecast is for 25% chance of rain. Okay, Thursday morning, coming up on Ferry Bluff. So that's the Honey Creek right there on the right. So Ferry Bluff is you can see it there, it marks the point of an old ferry back in the 1800s, 1840s, I think, a little pre-Civil War, where it was apparently a good place to ferry people across the river. Uh, now it's like a sanctuary. They have it closed, I think November 1st to April something for an eagle sanctuary. So we gotta go all the way up to the back where that kind of mucky slope is. Just to the left of those rocks. We're starting to get some rock action, so slow down. A little. Okay, we're pretty good. Pretty good, we're about six inches deep. There we go. Dope. <laughs> 
This is the put in. That's very blue. A little boardwalk to finish the trail here. Beautiful view even on a cloudy day. Wisconsin River from the top of Ferry Bluff. By the railroad bridge, sunny again. We had a uh, Quite the tumultuous late morning and early afternoon. That rained pretty good, but that's all blown out to the east now. And uh, partly cloudy skies. We'll take a little break on a sandbar right by Highway 14 there. Campsite 2. A nice spit right before the Highway 23 crossing. Making a little noise now, but that'll die down. That's not that busy a road. And just a uh, rain has moved back in. Morning on the Wisconsin, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful day after a rainy Thursday. Not a cloud in the sky today though. This to be a great day for a paddle. Highway 23 Bridge. Up ahead and Spring Green Landing on River Right. Look at them up there, riding in their SUVs. And we're down here. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, a little break at the Spring Green new launch beautiful Friday no traffic on the old highway 23 bridge and we were just taking a brief break here we are not taken out here so but, uh, Highway 23 bridge. Some nice fall color on the river. Oh, he can't decide what he's gonna do. Very cool. Oh, another eagle. Two eagles. Wisconsin River. Beautiful Friday morning. Taking the back braid around Big Island. All right. High noon on the river. Some of the only good shade on the river here. A little lunch break underneath the railroad trestle.
Clouds are back, 65% chance of rain, 60-65% according to when we left. Just uh, between Gotham and Muscaday. Not too windy, but looks like a chance of rain. Muscaday Bridge, which not sure if that's 133 or what highway we got going here, but an interesting little stone pillar in front of that guy's house. Wonder if that is like an old footing from some old bridge back in the day or something. Absolutely. That's still around. Yeah. We got this nice sleek new one. Had a little turbulence here. All right, so I'm gonna have to hook around a little bit. We got that sand sticking out there, so. What's that? Yeah, we're going back there. Exactly. It's a pretty nice beach right uh, by the landing there. You don't mind camping in downtown Muscaday. I think we did a little better than that though. <laughs> Quite a bit. Alright, what side do you like? Right here? Yeah, we're gonna wanna get out before the concrete, I think. I gotta put my booties on first when we hit land too, because it looks like a rocky exit here. I would say slow. A little slower. Well, it's deep right there. Okay. 